A lot has gone on since the last time Ohio football played a game. It was an off week, but it was a winning week, and the Bobcats hope to win for the eighth time in eight tries, the fourth time in four MAC games, and for the seventh time in a row against Miami on Saturday in Oxford. After Ohio's win over Akron, the Bobcats were ranked in the AP Top 25. Without playing a game, the ranking rose to 23rd. And the Cats debuted in the USA Today coaches poll at 23. The BCS rankings show Ohio is between Texas and Wisconsin at 24th. And regardless of people's political views, it was special to hear props from the president. Now Ohio meets Miami for the 89th time, looking for win 36 in the series. The Red Hawks are 3-4 and 2-1. And and the wins came over Southern Illinois, UMass, and Akron. The losses were against Ohio State, Boise State, Bowling Green, and Cincinnati. The Red Hawks do have the 11th best total offense in the league, but that doesn't mean they don't have firepower. Quarterback Zach Dysart and wide receiver Nick Harwell are good ones. Defensively, they give up 500 yards a game. A win of the Red Hawks would be victory 14 in the last 15. It would mark the second time in the last 20 years that the Cats start 4-0 in the league. It would be win nine in a row. That hasn't happened since 1968. The game is on STO and coverage on the People's Bank Ohio IMG Sports Network powered by Horizon starts at 2.30 with the kick at 3.30 from Jaeger Stadium. That's the game week preview. For Chris Sabo, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.